Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do a new guide for World of Warcraft in 2023. Uh, a lot of stuff changed in their parameter if I compare it with my previous guide like five months ago, I think. So we're gonna optimize the game, we're gonna make sure that you optimize your windows properly, and that's about it. So now the best setting for windows for gaming. So first of all, we're gonna search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a, a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for example, here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. 
Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue, but if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU um it's it's pretty amazing honestly um it will help if you don't have a lot of ram in your pc so if you have 4 gig of ram 8 gig 12 gig uh, after that you should be fine windows is doing the job properly so it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list so what i recommend normally it's look at your total memory here in my case it's 32 just divided by two so for me it's 16 just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized so it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering so i really recommend to use that one last thing is um i have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking cpu overclocking gpu depending on your brand and stuff and it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide i don't touch voltage so it's pretty safe you can expect sometimes two percent ten percent boost in your fps depending on your thermal depending on your component but it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your pc um, for the best performance so now let's go inside of the game so now inside of the game so first of all in general i recommend to remove the camera shake to uh to have like a better visibility uh, but if you like this effect definitely you can stay at full or you can reduce it if you want after that, we're going to go to graphic settings. So first of all, display mode, make sure that you're using full screen. Uh, you're going to lose some FPS in window mode. Resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So depending on your monitor, if you have a 2K, 1080p, 4K monitor, uh, just play native. For the render scale, it really depends if you want to use the Radian uh, Super Resolution, the, sorry, the Fidelity FX Super Resolution 1.0. And if you want uh, it to work and just to... Uh, re upscale your game you will need to downscale it a little bit over there if you want pure visibility like better graphic go with 98 percent and put your resolution here if you want pure fps i recommend to go at like 83 percent something like that don't go too low because everything will look very bad after that but you can definitely go 83 percent and activate your fidelity fx per resolution, super resolution over there and you can expect something like 15 to 20 percent boost so it's it's huge vertical sync i disable it i don't want input lag but again if you don't like uh, your uh, tiering you can definitely enable it and also you can use other technology like free sync and g-sync that will uh, resolve the issue for anti-aliasing, I recommend to go with Advance. And here, normally affects AAI. A lot of people can run this. It's pretty basic anti-aliasing. If you're like limited with a very old computer, like a, with an integrated GPU, something like that, go with low. And choose the uh, 2x and 2x over their depth. If you have a better computer, definitely you can run 4x over here if you want for the multi-sample technique. I don't recommend to click uh, to check the multi-sample alpha test. For the camera, FOV, a lot of people doesn't know that, but if you put your FOV higher, you will lose FPS. And in this game, it's pretty crazy because you see a lot larger in front of you. You need to render more stuff. So if you're limited with your computer, start with something like 60. And after the old guide, if your, uh, your FPS looks fine for you, you can definitely go higher if you want. For graphic quality, I recommend just go with one. We're going to custom them one by one. So first of all, shadow. This one is huge. If you compare ultra high to low, you can expect a nice 20% boost. So definitely go with low for this one. And honestly, it doesn't change too much for your game. You don't really care about shadow. Liquid detail, I recommend to go with low, another 8% boost over there. A particle density, a lot of people can go with fair, honestly. If you're limited with your computer, go with low. Um... I'm not recommending to use disable, but because like they're saying, disabling, this may cause you to miss important visual cue during combat. So definitely you don't want to use that. But honestly, test fair and you should be fine. I saw 2% difference between low and fair. And if I compare fair with ultra, it's 10% uh, that you will lose in your FPS. Ambient occlusion, I recommend to disable it. A nice 12% boost over there. Depth effect also. 
another 6% over there. And Compute Effect, I recommend to disable also. Uh, this will help a lot with visibility and also you will gain a nice 10% in your FPS. Outline Mode, I recommend to use good. Texture resolution, if you have more than 4 gig of VRAM on your GPU, go with high. 3 gig fair, less than 3 gig, go with low. Spell density, you can definitely run some. Not a huge difference in your FPS with Essential. And if you have a better computer, again, really depend on your goal, uh, what you want to achieve uh, in your FPS and depending on your computer also. You can definitely go a little bit higher over there. Uh, project texture, I recommend to go with Enable. Views distance, this one will impact a lot your FPS. Don't go too crazy at 10 with this one. Honestly, I recommend to start with this. View distance at 4, environment detail, and uh, ground clutter at 3. You should be fine if you change uh, all those other settings. But again, if you're playing with an integrated GPU and your computer is struggling, go with view distance at 2 and put the uh, environment at 2 and ground clutter at 2. Raid graphic, if you want dedicated uh, gra graphic quality in Raid, normally you want more FPS, so just check it and go with one. You want pure performance for this one. Texturing filtering, normally if you put eye on texture, eye texture over, um, over there, the, the quality texture, sorry, texture resolution, you can definitely run 16x. And uh, if you're at medium, go with 8x, and if you're less than medium, go with something like anisotropic 2x. Ray tracing, for sure you want to <laughs> disable this, it will tank your FPS. Fidelity FX, I recommend to go with Kakao, like this. Resample quality, go with Super Resolution 1.0, like I said, and match it with your render uh, resolution over there. The API, I don't recommend to use Legacy, this one is pretty trash, you want to uh, use 11 or 12. So, if you want to use 12, you need something more recent, like Series 1000 and from NVIDIA or something more recent than that. In AMD, normally RX 480 and more recent, you should be fine. If you have something older, go with DirectX 11, you will have more FPS. Graphic card, if you're playing on a laptop, make sure that you're selecting your, F, uh, your graphic card. Sometimes people have like an integrated GPU with a dedicated GPU, so you wanna make sure that the game is using your dedicated GPU. For the FPS, I just unlock everything, but again, if you're struggling with your thermals, Make sure that you lock your FPS with the amount of Hertz that you have on your monitor. So for example, if you have a 60 Hertz monitor, lock your FPS at 60. If you have like a 120 Hertz monitor, lock it at 120 Hertz. Sharpness, this one, if you go at zero, it will be ultra sharp. Honestly, between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7, it seems to be like a good spot. It's like a normal sharpness. So me, I'm playing at 0 0.5, look at 0 0.5. And uh, if you don't like it, just move it definitely. Contrast, brightness, and gamma, I'm not touching this. And also, it really depends on the uh, type of monitor that you're using and the way you calibrate it. And the last one is your network. Make sure that you optimize network for speed. So this is pretty much it for my World of Warcraft gu guide for Dragonflight. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.